<clears throat> All right. Cool. So we are working through the basement right now. We are looking primarily for, well, levels. We're trying to get a lot of levels, which we need. Um, and then down here, we I think we were going for an item. Ah, we're going for Moog Shackle. That's what we're looking for down here. Yep. Is this the build you're taking to the DLC? This is the first build of the DLC that we'll be doing. Uh, I am planning on doing multiple builds. This is kind of our main build. This is the Koladin. Um, I'm also going to be doing a Caster and a Dex Arcane build. And I think between all of those, we should be able to find a lot of the fun weapons and, and actually use them in the game. I have no idea where to go here. I think we just opened that gate. So we're going to go explore through there in a minute. Thanks, everybody, did that. Nope. How was the Devolver showcase? It was Devolver. Yeah. Uh, Lathorix says, question. I know you were sponsored for PAX Day, but the website has you listed as participating in the challenge among other streamers. Uh, yeah, so there, there's two big things going on this for PAX Day right now. There's the big challenge seasonal event that a lot of people are doing, and then there's also the sponsored streaming stuff in parallel. Yep. So we are, we're going to be playing more PAX Day, I think, on Monday. Um... And kind of, uh, you know, exploring that. And this time, I actually have some people helping me get the resources I need. So I can jump in and, and immediately start doing some building and stuff. Which I'd love to do. But, uh, yeah, there's there's all sorts of stuff going on for PAX Day since they announced the EA date and everything. So, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff going on. Oh, this is where we came down. All right, so let's go back and go through the gate. Oh, I have SGH in the title instead of SGF. Oh, by the way, okay, I, I got a, 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 a weird message last night and, and, and a couple of, like, confusing things. So I wanted to, I wanted to point something out real quick and, and just kind of make sure this was said because I think some people don't understand this. So yesterday, a very talented, awesome creator by the name of Pirate Software has, has said that he is teaming up with a YouTuber named uh, Ludwig, and they are starting a new... I believe it's an indie publishing label uh, called Off Brand Games. And somebody sent me a message last night and they were like, hey, um, this just got announced with Pirate Software. And the, the tone of the message was kind of like this, like, oh man, what are you gonna do? Like, didn't you just join Mad Mushroom? Now Pirate Software has started like a, a rival publishing company? And I immediately knew I should probably say something about this because that, that kind of thinking was out. Let me make this super clear. When it comes to indie game dev publishing, it is not a competition situation. It is a more the merrier situation. Mad Mushroom turns down hundreds of games, thousands of games. Some of those games are really, really good and they need competent, good publishers. So what, what Ludwig and Pirate Software are doing is phenomenal and and if every creator in the position to do that did that like that would be awesome <laughs> so i just want to make sure it's understood this isn't it's not a competition situation it's it's a it's a the more people that jump into this space the more the tide rises the more everyone succeeds so yeah um also most importantly most importantly there's more competition in the publishing space which means that indie devs We'll be getting more favorable terms and more favorable funding and that's also a win for gamers so that it's there's there's all sorts of positives for all the people we like <laughs> when more indie devs come into the space or more indie publishers come into the space um again assuming that they are competent um transparent and ethical which i can almost assuredly say uh uh pirate software and ludwig <laughs> will will deliver i would very much hope so. Um, so, you know, we can we can hopefully count on that. But yeah, that's kind of the situation that that is. But don't ever think that there's like uh, any animosity of any kind, even a, a, an, an iota. It's it, We're all kind of in this together in a lot of ways. Yeah. For sure. We are not all versus each other. 
it is very much an us as an industry verse <laughs> everyone else. <laughs> we are all in the same team. Yeah. Anyone know why he's using an OP weapon? Um, because the whole point of this build is not to die. And I've never used this weapon before in a build. Chat suggested it to me, and frankly, it's a lot of fun. So I came down here yesterday and said, I guess I can't continue. And chat told me, no, I am supposed to continue. Um, like, this is where I'm supposed to go forward? Okay. Do you think now the Dragon Age has changed the game's name? Do you think now the Dragon Age has changed the game's name? Has changed anything game-related? Or is it just that this fits better? Oh, no, it's, it's, it's marketing. Yeah. Just marketing. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't assume it means anything. Really. If anything, they're probably trying to escape, um... Like, what's interesting is uh, they announced the 15-minute demo for Dragon Age, and which is coming out soon. And I put up a I put up a tweet, and I was like, you know, feeling a lot of emotions about this. I'm I'm concerned. I'm optimistic. I'm worried. You know, just one of my basic like, you know, this is what how I'm feeling right now. Things. And somebody responded to that tweet, and said. Um, yeah, you know, I'm really concerned that this is going to be that live service game. And, you know, it, it came from a live service and they converted it to a single player. And now it's all messy and it will probably have live service things. Mike Gamble, the project lead of Dragon Age, responded to his tweet. And at the end of that guy's tweet, he was like, maybe I'm wrong. And Michael Gamble responded and he, and he just goes, you're wrong. <laughs> like that's all he said. <laughs> so it's like, that, that made me wonder... If, if they have the project lead out there responding to replies, suggesting that it's a live service, that's probably why they changed their name. They, they, that's probably, that's that. So when you ask why they changed their name, probably to escape that exact thing. Yep. Because they don't want people thinking that it is. Oh, I'm sorry, he's the Mass Effect lead. Yeah, Ma, uh, Mike Gamble, Mass, Mass Effect lead. Yep. Um, but, yeah, like that, that that leads me to believe they're trying to distance themselves as much as possible from that. Which could be a good thing. I mean, that could mean that they're committed with the change. So that could be, you know, that could be good. Maybe that means what you're saying. Um, but it could just mean they want to sell more copies because they know everyone hates live services. And they didn't change anything in the game. And it was all just, yeah. We'll see. Dapper, how are you this morning? Good to see you. What was wrong with the original Dragon Age? Nothing. In fact, it was arguably the best in the franchise by far. <laughs> <laughs> so the original Dragon Age was fantastic. And then Dragon Age 2 was not. And then Dragon Age Inquisition was basically Dragon Age Arcade. And um, then Andromeda happened. And Anthem. And now we're here. <laughs> so it's like... Mm, um... And I, was Anthem before Andromeda? I don't even remember. It all it all bleeds together. It might have been. So yeah, and, and, and then on top of all this, on top of everything I just said, there was also the fact that Dragon Age started as a live service. They were selling it as a live service. This was back when EA was like really pumped about live service stuff. And they were like, yeah, gamers, we got Dragon Age live service coming to you. And everyone was like, nope, don't want that at all and they were like whoops we're gonna go quiet for a few years and reinvent ourselves and that's what they did so um and now here we are and now the project lead from a similar project is having to go around and be like no no we changed that <laughs> that's not accurate but yeah that's uh all manner of unfortunate stars aligning on that situation why did why did what I think, uh, why do I call Dragon Age Inquisition Dragon Age Arcade? Because it is it's a, it's a simplified version of Dragon Age Origins. It is a it is a simplified, more action oriented version of a traditionally more in depth and deep RPG. That's what it is. It is it is it is a it is uh, just a, it's an arcade. It's an arcade version. That's the best way I can say it. It's incredibly simplified. Um, but I will say like it, although I don't like the direction of Inquisition. Um, it's, I still had fun with it. Like, it's, it's fine for what it is, but what it was, for me, was a lot better. 
Like Inquisition's a fine game, but it like it's I don't feel like it's a good Dragon Age game. It's a fine game. Um, the story and characters in Inquisition were great. In fact, the Dragon Age Inquisition DLC has some of the coolest story in the franchise. I would argue that. Yep. Dragon Age Inquisition DLC is actually awesome. It is it is really really cool. Um, yeah. So that's that's the old, you know I, I ended that tweet talking about the new Dragon Age with optimistic, and honestly that's the thing that's probably the reason why. Is because even though Inquisition was was a step backward, a, a relatively significant step backward for me in terms of what I like from from Dragon Age, the story and the characters were still great. They were still good. Um, and I hope even even if I don't like the gameplay of the new DA. I really hope that the story and characters are as good as the most recent DLC. And I'll, and I'll probably be happy if they are. If they can keep up that quality. But we'll see. This bro's got some moves. Enchantment! That's right. Well said. Enchantment. Omen Bairn? What is that? Golden Center. Glass Shard. Go ahead and just pop this. Just in case. The Alan Wake 2 DLC is out now. Okay, we may have to play that this afternoon or something. They're alluding to the new Dragon Age being even more action focused, which worries the hell out of me. Dude, any more any more action focused than Inquisition, and you're not even an RPG anymore. You're just an action game. Like my god, dude. Like how much more action focused can you be? Alright. There's a lot of gravity here, and I don't like it. Would you say that it's worth playing Inquisition if it's my first Dragon Age game? If you are somebody who prefers action over RPG, then Inquisition is absolutely for you. You will most likely prefer Inquisition. If you like RPG over action, then start with Origins. Yeah, that's what I would say. Origins is, is, is in my opinion, like relatively far and away better than the other two. Mm-hmm. But again, I'm also a huge RPG guy. That's my preference. That makes sense. Wait, did you live? Man, I do not like this place. Hey, Doctor, what's up, buddy? Will you try Grave Seasons in the future? It's a horror farming simulator. I'm sorry, what? Did you just say horror farming? Is that a genre? Is that a thing? Uh. Is there not one behind me? Oh God, chat, where am I going, man? I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where the item I want is. I'm naked, I'm scared, I'm afraid. All the things. It's like a television show right there. Ow, who did that? Ow, stop it. No. 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 Oh my god. There's so many.
Are we good? I think. Oh god, what is this? Is that another one? Okay. Rain of gargoyles! Great. I'm not supposed to actually make that jump, am I? Oh, I don't know about that. Mm -mm, I don't like that. Nope. Could definitely do it with a boost jump. That could boost my ass into oblivion. Nice try, doubter. I know if I go out there and try to fight this guy, then I'm just going to fall off the pipe. I, I know myself well enough to know that. I'm just going to fall off the damn pipe if I do that. Oh, this goes up. I thought this was going to go down. Why not use the Taker's Flame Ash of War? Because this sword is already strong enough. Ooh. Yeah, I generally only use the Taker's Ash if I really like, if I need to for some reason. Or I just want to. But I don't spam it. It's it's a little too OP to spam. It's war, there is no OP. Ah, eh, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I, I probably should use it more. I mean, if I'm using the sword anyway, I probably should use it more. But it's okay. Great. So this is a shortcut to the other side. Uh, no, barely. Thank you. So now we can go down here. See, now these guys, these guys I'll use it on, because <laughs> F these guys. Okay. Ah, there it is. Oh, 
Okay. Has Cone ever been here or does he not remember this place? Uh, I think I came here on one of my first playthroughs, maybe. I do remember this area, but I don't remember specifics. I remember strongly disliking it. <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. I do remember, though, going to the bottom of here uh, and getting the three fingers. I remember the three fingers was super weird. I, I remember making a note. Ah, I remember making a note when I started this playthrough that I want to look into the three fingers thing more and try to figure that out and... Beautiful. Actually, let's put you there for now. Cool. Okay. We haven't gotten a grace down here for a while. Let's see if we can find one. Now, besides the shackle, I wonder if there's anything else we want to get down here. I'm not doing the frenzy flame ending, so I don't necessarily need to do too much. Are you doing the three fingers quest this run? Uh, no. That's, I believe, the frenzy flame ending. We're not, we're not doing really any ending this run. Because this is, this is all to get ready for the DLC. Okay, this is where we drop down. Probably a door or a ladder or something, right? Here we go. Go back for the dungeon near Moog's shackle. Oh, oh, I was just, that was it. Oh, okay. Oh, geez. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. I was literally where I was supposed to be. I think he was just a little late with the chat. All right. <laughs> Go back again. Yes. Okay. So, uh, just because I'm kind of curious to see if this will make a difference. Let me pop over here real quick and we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> Always touched Grace. I did. I reached out and I touched Grace. Do, 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 do. Reach out, touch Grace. All right, let's go. Mm -mm -mm. Can we fall there? It'd be kind of funny. You should level up first. I should. Good call. Moog is still fire resistant. It's true. He has kept his resistances since our last attempt. Yep. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yes. We're also going in without a uh, relatively important talisman that I don't have. And that's the one that reduces physical damage, which he is very good at dealing so if, if these attempts go just as poorly as the last, which I'm assuming they will, um, we're going to wait to get that done. Oh, no! Wait, one more thing. Uno mas. There we go. Okay. Okay. Cage Wisdom says, what about the Moog tier? It protects against denial attack. That's a great call. I like the way you think. Okay. 
Gypero says, there's also a tier that negates Moog's damage dealing skill. Thank you. I will keep that in mind. Is that really all it does? Uh-oh. Thank you! Oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, we'll be back later. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Anyway, so uh, I think the 20% extra um, would be good to have there maybe a little bit. Hold on, let me let me let my hand stop shaking from that fight for a second. We'll keep going. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Um, it's scary. So I think we're going to start moving towards... If, oh, oh, you know what I said we were going to do today? Let's go do this. This will get us a lot of souls, and we need to do this anyway. Mm. Are we in New Game Plus? No. Ko says, I'm out. My people need me. Good show. Shots a lot with the five subs. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you, thank you. Chris Ophelia says, when mixed into your Flask of Wonders physics, the purifying crystal tear negates the blood curse Moog performs before the start of phase two. Thank you. 